welcome to our Advent devotion. Today, we're thinking about Jesus as our hope. This tiny baby, whose birth we remember at Christmas time, is our hope. Let's read from Matthew chapter 12, verses 18 to 21, and we're using the New Living Translation. Look at my servant, whom I've chosen. He's my beloved, who pleases me. I will put my spirit upon him, and he will proclaim justice to the nations. He will not fight or shout or raise his voice in public. He will not crush the weakest reed or put out a flickering candle. Finally, he will cause justice to be victorious, and his name will be the hope of all the world. When I'm writing to people, sending Christmas cards or birthday greetings, I often use the word hope. I hope you're well. I hope you're feeling better. I hope your job is going well. Often when I do that, I'm sending good wishes as a way of showing care and interest and encouragement. Back in 2008, Meadowhead Christian Fellowship was involved with many other churches in something called Hope 08. We worked with other churches in and around Batemore, and uh, we did a lot of work around where we're based. We planted hanging baskets in the precinct, we painted the playgrounds, um, and we painted the underpass near the library. We cleared up litter. We hoped that we would encourage local people and in turn give them hope because we cared. But there's nothing certain about the outcome. We hoped it would make a difference. But the Bible uses the word hope differently. It usually means we can be certain of something. It means we can be confident of the outcome and that we can trust what has been said. We sometimes sing a lovely song with a line that says, we have a hope that is steadfast and certain. And it's talking about Jesus. And there's a wonderful verse in Hebrews 11, verse 1, that says faith is being sure of what we hope for. So faith in Jesus turns uncertainty about the future into certainty about eternal life with Jesus. It gives us confidence that God loves us, is with us, and that our future is secure. Perhaps you're feeling down and despondent, maybe because of the pandemic, possibly due to health, finances or family problems. Some people absolutely despair of the future. Be encouraged. God doesn't promise to solve all our problems, but he does promise to be with us through them. There is hope in Jesus. And Psalm 25 verse 3 says, that no one whose hope is in Jesus will be put to shame. So as we think about the coming of Jesus all those years ago, we can have complete confidence in his love for us as we put our hope in him. There's a line in the carol, O Little Town of Bethlehem, that says, The hope and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight. Thank you, Jesus, for coming as a baby to give us hope, hope that is certain and sure, Jesus is our hope. We'd like to encourage you to stop and think about the times that God has brought you through difficult circumstances and given you hope. The passage we read says, he will cause justice to be victorious and his name will be the hope of the world. We live in a very unjust world, but one day all of it will be put right. We want to leave you with a blessing from Romans 15 verse 13, which says, May the God of hope fill you with joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you that although we live in an unjust, hurting and needy world, 
we have a secure and certain hope because of Jesus. We thank you that at Christmas time we remember the birth of a baby born to be the Saviour and the hope of the world. Amen. Blessings everyone on this lovely day. And a very happy Christmas. <laughs>